Hey, what's up guys? I'm from BSC Tech. Uh, today's video is about how to fix uh, a laptop which is having a couple of issues. Uh, two very common issues with the, the used laptops are uh, uh, they randomly restart and uh, also for some reason they are held at uh, the Windows logo or uh, at the startup logo and they are also showing a blue screen. So in today's video we have uh, a Dell Attitude E-Series and uh, this laptop is uh, showing similar symptoms. Uh, it's not bypassing uh, the boot screen and uh, it's stuck on logo sometimes it's bypassing the logo screen and then it's uh, showing blue screen unfortunately it's ending up on those uh, round circle which says uh, the window is starting uh, there are basically five dots so in today's video I will be showing you a few possible uh, solutions in order to fix this uh, they work exactly the same way so uh, moving forward if this video helped you out in any way please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, let's power this uh, laptop on uh, before you start the process uh, it's always recommended that uh, you connect your device with the power source and for that reason i will be connecting this device with the uh, nhs adapter and then we will press uh, the power button in order to restart or uh, just power on the device and wait for uh, the device to completely boot up as you can see on this screen uh, we have this bar going through and after the bar is processing the laptop is uh, basically it doesn't want to boot up so it's always stuck on this logo as you can see right now it's completely flat uh, it's not going forward I tried to restart a couple of times so let's move on to the solutions and uh, first thing first you need to remove your uh, power supply and uh, try to remove your battery by removing these two screws and then leave the battery out for a few seconds and after that uh, once the battery is completely out just keep holding your power button for at least 10 seconds so we'll count from one two three four five six seven 8, 9 and 10. So by doing this you basically discharge all uh, the battery power left on this machine. This could be a possible cause. Uh, I'm not 100% sure but uh, it's just a try and then we will try to reconnect the battery and see if this has uh, sorted the problem and we will try to reboot the device and wait. Uh, this is one of the things actually you can try uh, before you go to the next or uh, the next and next step uh, which might take some time so this is like immediate thing you can do uh, it will not cost you any time so this is the first part you can do and uh, then you can try to uh, just restart the laptop by removing the battery and holding the, uh, the power button for 10 seconds then you can see the next part is basically uh, we have finally uh, booted the machine up and it looks like window hasn't loaded correctly so there is a problem with the windows uh, being loaded so we can restart the process and wait for the device to restart uh, give it a couple of seconds before the machine restarts itself and once the machine uh, just uh, goes back into the restart cycle uh, we can see if uh, the problem is sorted if problem is not sorted we will move to the next step so as you can see that we are again on the same page and uh, to my understanding uh, it seems like uh, the machine is stuck here since so it's not going to boot up so we will completely shut down and we will move towards the next step so friends uh, the second solution for this video is basically we will try to remove the hard drive from its caddy and uh, we will look for the possible loose collection if we find it we can try to fix it by putting it back into the carry section and if that is the reason it might fix uh, the laptop and for that reason we can simply uh, unscrew these two uh, in different laptops they will be on located on different uh, uh, locations on HP they are normally in the middle uh, this particular machine it's always on uh, the top left hand side uh, on auto casing and in some machines it might be difficult so if it's uh, uncomfortable for you to remove or for example if the hard drive is or SSD is located inside 
for example in Lenovo or other machines uh, then don't try this unless you know what you are doing so as you can see that the caddy is uh, is a uh, hard drive is there SSD is there and if you look at this this section is slightly loose so this can possibly a cause which we can apply a little pressure and try to tighten it up and then we can put it back and see if this works if this does not work then we can always uh, come back and go for the next possible solution so we'll put them back and we'll align them before we can screw them up in most cases uh, the connection of uh, SSD or hard drive is gone loose and uh, for some reason the window is not being recognized by the machine and it's unable to read from the device so could be a possible cause and if this works your problem will be solved so we will look out, out on this segment first before we move to the next step as you can see window is going to boot up uh, there is some issue shown on the screen media device not found press any key to reboot the machine which means that the SSD or hard drive is not properly aligned with the system but uh, this is not the case and uh, hopefully we will bypass this and move to the third section so this is one of the options uh, you can always try as you can see that you will see this error and uh, since it's not going back onto that round cycle that means that no boot device found press ok to reboot uh, the device so guys uh, the part 2 has uh, not helped us uh, in uh, order to boot the machine uh, we will move towards the third solution possible solution uh, for third solution all you have to do is to connect your device with a power source and uh, once the machine is uh, completely powered off press the power button and as soon as you see the machine is starting up you have to press F12 in order to go into the boot menu on this device as you can see that we are on this page which is uh, a BIOS page and a uh, couple of notes here and then options here legacy boot shows couple of options here internal HDD CD DVD that's the boot sequence onboard NIC and in the other options you have to look for diagnostic uh, the diagnostic is finally completed uh, in some cases uh, the diagnostic will take some time it has taken uh, almost 30 minutes in order to complete unfortunately the list is missing the hard drive uh, uh, which was not bypassed on this uh, uh, complete testing as you can see that uh, cables network bios usb primary and everything is sorted but unfortunately the hard drive is uh, having problems so the final result is uh, there is some issue with the hard drive so we will go back to the hard drive again and for that reason we will be switching off the machine and we will try to screw and unscrew the hard drive one more time but before that we will give it a go and try to reboot the device if in case the machine uh, boots up but uh, seems like uh, laptop is not uh, going through and it's not a happy machine anymore as you can see that the machine is still stuck on the same problem one two three four five five uh, round circling bars which are just processing uh, some sort of uh, boot up sequence we will shut down this machine and uh, as we did earlier we will use a screwdriver in order to take out uh, the hard drive Basically, this laptop uh, had uh, recently been replaced uh, from a hard drive to an SSD. So the SSD is still having problems. Seems like there's a bad sector or the SSD is not properly detected. So we have to work out on that. We will take it out and we will see if there is any problem with that. Uh, seems like everything is in order. The machine does not sit on the same spot. 
uh, for this time we are not going to uh, unscrew it or unscrew it back we will just try to turn it on and see if it works so the machine is basically uh, initializing the link which means media test failure check cable so guys this is definitely uh, the hard drive or the SSD drive which is playing up so we have a solution for that we'll take it out and uh, we are going to change this SSD with this hard drive which was recently replaced so guys we have finally managed to replace the old hard drive with SSD and uh, since uh, the old hard drive uh, still had the Windows uh, then uh, pre-installed on that and we did not format that uh, drive we'll try to reboot and see if this uh, sequence has uh, managed to fix uh, the device or the laptop as you can see that uh, the windows uh, boot screen logo is appeared which means it's uh, uh, a successful try and uh, the laptop will hopefully boot uh, onto the main screen as you can see that uh, the restart uh, process was not uh, taken properly so the machine was shut down unexpectedly or in an un uh, unexpected way we will reboot again and hopefully this will sort our uh, issue and the window will uh, boot back into the normal state as you can see that everything is in order and uh, the machine is now uh, back to normal if this does not fix your problem then you can always uh, uh, move to the next step uh, in order to install a fresh copy of windows 10 by using uh, either a dvd or a usb uh, bootable usb flash drive so hopefully you can sort your problem so guys uh, we have finally managed to install a fresh copy of windows 10 using uh, this uh, uh, usb flash drive windows 10 has finally uh, installed and it's going to reboot and we'll take you to the main screen from where you can take on uh, further so in today's video we have tried three different solutions we have tried the battery method that did not work uh, we tried uh, uh, putting back the old uh, ssd or the hard drive we also tried to fix uh, the caddy connection with the hard drive and uh, or the ssd is sitting and uh, the connection was fine so as you can see that uh, we have finally managed to install a fresh copy uh, I hope this video will help you out in different ways and you will find it very useful for uh, fixing your problem. Stay tuned and uh, leave us uh, your comments in the comment section below if you have any problems. If you want uh, uh, to learn how to install uh, uh, Windows ISO file on a bootable USB or how to make a bootable USB, you can go back onto my channel and find a video that is there we recently posted uh, on how to install a fresh copy of Windows 10 on a USB or a DVD drive. Stay tuned, thumbs up, keep watching, take care, bye bye.